Well, for us this afternoon, another refreshing day. If you enjoyed yesterday, you'll definitely love today too. We're forecasting those afternoon highs anywhere in the upper 70s and scattered around in the 80s, like Danville at 87, a little bit warmer than Parisburg, where we're thinking we'll be at 82. We are staying dry today. Those temperatures will be near seasonable for this time of the year. So Blacksburg, your normal high on this day is 82. Danville and Roanoke, 88. With Lynchburg, normally you're at 87 on today. As we head into tomorrow, that's where we're going to start to see that heat and even humidity build back in. The afternoon high for tomorrow looks to be anywhere in the 80s, low 90s. Thursday, we're looking at 90s scattered across our hometowns, and that's the same thing for Friday. So it looks like it's going to be a hot 4th of July. Any festivities you have outdoors, you could run into some heat stresses, some heat-related illnesses. For Thursday, that blue line right here, that's indicating that higher risk for us to run into a heat danger risk. By Friday, the pink-purple shade, that's under indicating a very high heat danger risk just because of how hot it's going to be, but also that humidity adds another factor that really impacts our feels like temperature. So for Thursday, Friday, even into Saturday, dew points will read upper 60s and the 70s. So heat, hu high humidity really impacts us by we're not able to evaporate. Evaporate, that is a cooling process. So whenever we have that sweat evaporating, that helps to cool us down. Also, high humidity can give us a higher chance for that heat illness that we mentioned. It can aggravate existing health conditions and also bacteria and viruses can thrive in high humidity areas. So for Thursday and Friday, with those being our first alert weather days, we do have a risk for some shower hours and some storms too, just with how hot and humid it'll be, that could also bring the chance for storms to become possibly severe warned. Highs will be in the mid to upper 90s that day. All of us will feel the oppressive heat with feels like temperatures soaring at or even above 100 degrees. Here's a closer look at that Independence Day forecast on this Thursday. We're going with 94 at Smith Mountain Lake. Hot springs probably could head even into the lower 80s, but still going to be a little bit warmer with Blacksburg at around 88 degrees. Degrees. Where we do have the risk for storms on Independence Day, not a bad idea. Have that backup indoor location just in case. Plus, where it's just hot and humid, even if you don't have that storm head over top of the area, you'll want to seek AC when you can. So we do have those first alert weather days active for both Thursday and Friday. That looks to be the hottest, most oppressive days. Plus, that could be some days where we may see a few strong, possibly severe warm storms try to form. Kind of the same pattern like we saw this past weekend. Speaking of the weekend, this upcoming weekend, we are still looking pretty warm, pretty hot out there. We will only hold on, though, to very limited shower and storm chances. So we're still under a very dry pattern across our hometowns.